So Shadia, what did you think it meant to train as an actor before you started the six week summer intensive at Maggie Connerman Studio? Okay, well, you know, I've been doing, moved to New York after, 10 years ago, and I've been on stage singing, acting, what I thought was acting, and surrounded by colleagues, some of which had trained and some that maybe fell into this through another angle as I had. So my idea, to be quite honest about acting, was that it was something that, <laughs> that was just talent-based. Um, it came from within, and you either had it or you didn't. You know, now mind you, I had trained as a musician, so I do have that background and idea of what it was to train as a singer and as a pianist, waking up at 5 a.m. to be at a conservatory at 6 and play four hours straight, you know. So I do have that idea, but I did not know that acting required so much depth and, and how much you had to dig inside of yourself to be yourself on stage. It's, it's mind-blowing, really, um, because we're all different. And how do we bring that unique quality to an imaginary character? You know, all this blew my mind during these past six weeks. Um, I know I've only scratched the tip of the iceberg. It's only the surface. But the work that, that I did throughout these six weeks really, really demystified acting quite a bit for me. Like, I know it's attainable through training. It's no longer he has it, she doesn't. He has it, she doesn't, whatever. <laughs> but it's something that you, a combination of talent, but training, serious commitment, you can, you can do. So that's wonderful. Well, what happened during the six weeks that changed your perspective on acting and training? What happened during these six weeks? I, I found myself living intensely and discovering and getting in touch with myself so much more than I hadn't done in a while, if ever, to be honest. Um, that desire to bring emotion and life into a character just drove me through the whole six weeks. I've always wanted to become someone else on stage, really. I've always wanted to, but I didn't know how. And how, I don't know if I know it yet, but, but being in touch with myself, seeing what, what really stirs me within, what makes me laugh, what makes me cry, what makes me angry, is something that I had not really taken the time to think about. And so this six weeks has, have been really revealing in that way. Well, what did you learn about yourself that was a surprise or that changed you? A surprise. How much we bottle up inside, how much we resist our own emotions. How much conditioning we have to break through in order to be honest about who we are and what we feel. The moment I released the pressure within me and I allowed it to flow through me is, was one of the most real moments, maybe in my life. <laughs> and doing that in front of strangers is not easy to do, but it's something that I really learned. I mean, I, I, I was able to, to get I knew I was, I had feelings inside of me, I just didn't know how, how I was able to get them out, you know, in a truthful, honest way. So realizing and discovering everything that I have to offer as an artist, as a human being, to stage with something beautiful. And how would you describe Charlie as a teacher? Well, Charlie, Charlie is someone, he's very intense, he's very honest, but
but he's also very sweet and endearing. Um, when I decided to take this step after years on stage in New York, um, after reaching that point where I feel that I had to break through, that I was too comfortable, I decided to take a summer off, <laughs> crazy, take a summer off, not work, and train. It's one of the bravest things I've done, I think, within my adult life, uh, where everything has to be secure and safe and you have to know what's coming, what's the next thing. I decided that I was just going to play it a little bit unsafe for a while and see what's out there. And so after looking at other schools, after doing the rounds and meeting other, you know, uh, studios, when I met him, I felt that he was the one I needed to study with. He was honest. He understood what training is from an artist of another craft, which is music, to someone who is a um, performing actor. Um, we understood each other that way. Um, but I also could tell that he was not going to let me slide by. I, I could tell that he was going to, he expected um, us, each one of us, to bring it each class. Very high, um, very high standards that he set for us. And he made us set high standards for ourselves as well as artists. Um, and so that's something that I was, that I could tell when I, when I met him for the first time and I confirmed throughout the six weeks. He made me work very hard. He made me cry, I felt ashamed about myself, about the work, if I didn't do what I thought was, <laughs> was enough, you know. It might never be enough because there's always somewhere else to go, I think, and he lets us know that. But he also tells us when we're, when we're doing work in the correct way.